And World Stroke Day is this weekend. It's an important time to talk about a life threatening event. Every four minutes in the U.S., someone dies from a stroke. So to talk about prevention, signs and life after a stroke, I have two special guests with me here today. Dr. Angelica Sobran Kassar and Chris Daughtry. You are both with Encompass Health in Greenville. So thank you so much for joining me today. Thank, thank you. you. And doctor, I want to start with you first. Let's talk about um, preventing a stroke and then some risk factors. Tell me about those. Yes, so there's definitely things that you can look for as far as prevention. So not s smoking, no drug use, healthy eating, cholesterol, high blood pressure. Some There are modifiable risk factors like monitoring your blood pressure, uh, watching your diabetes, and keeping those under control. Also substance use like cocaine mm. and drug use as well as tobacco use. Some that you cannot modify are things like your family history, but knowing it is very crucial. Yeah, yeah, so doing whatever you can to prevent it. But if it does happen, I understand knowing the signs are very important yes. in case um, you need to get somebody to the emergency room, which normally you would if they're experiencing mm -hmm. a stroke. So walk me through the signs um, and the acronym FAST, which yes. um, we could probably get that pulled up on screen. Let's talk about that a little yes. bit. Yes, so that would stand for uh, FAST stands for the face, so any facial asymmetry, maybe some facial droop in the lips, uh, arm, you could have some weakness or even feeling like it's drifting or uh, almost like an out of body, just different feeling, as well as slurred speech, that's the, the, the S, and then time to be prompt and go to the emergency department as, as soon as possible. Because uh, every second matters when you have a stroke, right? Correct. Yeah, yeah. And Chris, I wanted to talk to you a little bit more about the therapies that are available after you have a stroke, because I understand the recovery process. Sometimes it can be like learning how to do something again. So t uh, tell me uh, what's available at Encompass Health and kind of walk me through why those therapies are important. Yeah, so stroke impacts a lot of people in South Carolina. We're like the ninth in the country as far as uh, incident rate of stroke. We have 2,800 plus um, stroke hospitalizations in 2020, according to our DHEC data. Um, so it's important to look for um, post-acute or uh, rehab providers that have stroke certifications, um, a disease-specific certification for stroke care. Um, it's also important to look for things like um, uh, advanced technologies, um, uh, uh, people that specialize in stroke care, hmm. Um, community resources that are available. Um, for example, we have a stroke support group at uh, Encompass that we do that's free to the public uh, that people can come in and have some peer resources hmm. so they can talk about things that um, may have impacted them and share those and share those life experience with other people. But not all stroke rehab is the same. And so huh. the American Heart Association uh, suggests that um, people look for inpatient rehab hospitals for the rehab uh, okay. post-stroke. Yeah, no, that's so, so important to know. And I, I know for a lot of people, the journey can be challenging because you're an adult and you don't want to have to relearn how to ride a bike or go running or something like that. Mm -hmm. So having that support, I'm sure, would be amazing so that you know you have other people out there that are dealing with the same thing that you are. So thank you both so much for joining us today. And hopefully this helps some other people out there if either they see a stroke, want to prevent it, or know someone that experienced it. So thank you both for joining us today. Thank you. Thank you.